Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Right. Yeah. Hello, hello. All right, guys. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, I changed my headphones, so that's why that's why you were not able to to hear me. Anyways, guys, uh, good to see you here. I'm gonna send a message, guys, to everybody because um, I only see four people here. So tell me, how was your weekend, uh, Gio? What do you do? Uh, how how does it say? Um... Same, same day, different things. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How, how the, do you do you know that uh, that thing? What thing? People say same thing, different day. <laughs> oh, same old, same old. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right. Start, yeah. Same old, same old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For now. <laughs> All right. Very good. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Okay, I see more people joining now. All right, welcome, welcome Ruth, welcome Carla, welcome Rosa, Nelson, how are you guys doing? Fine, thank you. All right, guys, okay. Um, sorry guys, I'm still sending messages to the rest of, of the people because I don't see everybody <clears throat> connected so far. All right, anyways guys, um, good to see you again. We are gonna go over the answers from the midterm. So I know that you've been sending messages in the group, guys, and uh, well, I, I don't see them because I mean I haven't I haven't answered there because we answered them here for everybody. Okay, all right. So we're gonna go over some of the issues that we ran into, um, and then we're gonna start talking about the lessons in uh, section number three. Okay. So right now, guys. Okay, it's time for um, it's time for for uh, reviewing the exercises from the section two and also the midterm, okay? So I'd like someone, okay, who, who has not, guys, completed section number two so far? Who's missing some of the answers? And also, who has not completed the midterm? Mm -hmm. oh. Did you all complete the platform? I mean, did you all complete section two and the, and the midterm? Yes, I completed. All right. Yeah. So are all the answers yeah. correct? So nobody yeah. here ran into issues with the answers from the platform. So everybody good? The section one, sorry. Just oh, so section one, uh, first knowledge check uh, number three. Oh, okay, right. Um, for section one, I will refer you to, I think we have the answers in the platform. We can go back to section one, but the class is in the video and the, the videos that we upload to YouTube. Um, so we answer those questions during the class. So if, if, if you want, you can take a look at the videos from section one, you know, and, and then you can complete it there. Or we actually, I think we also send uh, the, the answers to the WhatsApp group. But yes, we have answered the questions from section one already. I don't, yes. I'm not sure if you were not in the class or something, but, uh, but you know, all classes are uploaded, guys. So you can go ahead and review them. And um, we also go over the answers from some, from the sections, right? Um, but yeah, uh, go ahead and, you know, um, it's in the WhatsApp group as well, you know? Um, but okay. regarding section two guys and the midterm, all right? So far, Cesar, Nelson, Rosa, Ruth, Carla, Carlos, Jordana. So you are 
one hundred percent complete. Complete. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. Sounds great. Then. Okay. All right. That's good, guys. Okay. You know, this is a, this is a very responsible team. It's it's really good. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Um, just for the sake of having it, guys, online, uh, in case you need help, right? If you, in case you need to go back to the answers, okay, we're gonna answer them together here. Now that I know that uh, you completed it all, you completed it all. Um, remember, guys, to send me the screenshots for completion. I know some of you have, guys, okay, but for the ones who haven't, okay, please do so, and um, and then I'll check what happened to the rest of uh, of your classmates, okay. All right, um, but that's great, guys. So let's go, guys. Okay, all right. <clears throat> um, so let's uh, let's have the answer for number one. Jonathan is going to a business meeting. Business meeting. A business meeting. Okay, very good. Number two, uh, Jaime. Welcome, Jaime. Uh, Ruth Castro. Number two. Two. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about his personal life. Okay, very good. Okay, it's personal life. All right, very good. Uh, number three, Nelson. The movie Jonathan mentioned. Nelson? Oh, I think, I, yeah, you're sorry. Sorry, yeah. this number uh, not appropriate to talk about. Okay, all right, that's okay. <laughs> all right, very good, Nelson. Nelson, number right. three. Uh, yeah, number okay. three. Number okay. three. Uh, yes, it's uh, not appropriate to talk about. No, it's not appropriate to talk see. about. Okay, oh, uh, see, going to, going to be made into a book. Is that your answer? Going to, make, going to be made into a book. The first one. The fine, the fine. All right, who has a different answer, guys? In number three, the movie Jonathan mentioned is not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. All right, appropriate, right? Appropriate. Not appropriate to talk about. All right, very good. Uh, number four, Jaime. Sorry, uh, what do you what did I say? What do you say? Oh, I was asking you about the answer for number three. Okay. All right, very good. But you did a good job, man, all right? Uh, Elisa, number four. No, not Elisa, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. uh, Jaime, number four. All right, let's talk about number four. Number four, Elizabeth advice. Uh huh. I don't know, I don't know idea right now because I don't enter right now. Okay, all right, uh, Michelle. All right, what do we have for number four, Michelle? Let see, teacher. Um, talk less and listen more. Talk less and listen more, okay, good job. Uh, number one from part two, Veronica. The robbery took place early in the morning is false. All right, very good. The robbery took place, robbery, right? The robbery took place early in the morning. All right, good job. Sorry, David, just a question. What, what number is this section? What is All the right, number? Th this is the midterm. The midterm. Section two, yes. Oh, okay. thanks. Yes, All right. Um, number two, uh, Alexander. What do we have for number two? $2,000 two were stolen from the restaurant. So would that be true or false? Okay, that's true. Very good. Uh, Rosa, number three. Okay, right. Security video, right? Very good. Security video shows two women running from the scene. Very good. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Gio, number four. Mm, the robbers drove away in a black truck. Uh, that's false. Okay, the robbers drove away in, in a black truck. truck. Okay, good job. All right. That was false. Oh, okay, all right, you said false, I'm sorry. All right, yeah. very good, guys. All right. Um, so I'm gonna leave, guys, this is, this is um, these questions right here. It's just um, 
no, it's just to, to choose the right answer, right? So I'm going to skip over this one. I want to jump into the, the ones where you have to fill out the blanks, okay? All right, so now part number two, guys, read the quotation, complete the sentences in your reported speech, right? All right, so what's the answer for number one? I'm writing with Julia. He told me. He was writing with Julia. He told me he was writing with Julia. All right, very good. Um, number two, what do we got for number two, um, Adriana? Nancy had never been skiing. Nancy has never been skiing, okay. He said Nancy had never been skiing. Good job. All right, uh, number three, Carlos, Carlos de Leon. What do we have for number three? Um, if anyone was ready to leave, ready to leave. Is anyone ready to leave? She asked if, right, if anyone was ready to leave. Okay, good job. Uh, let's see, Ruth Castro, what do we have for number four? Um, Pam lost a lot, a lot of weight. Okay, my mother told me that Pam, right, had lost a lot of weight. Hey, let me ask you something here. Can we say this without using the relative pronoun? Can I say, my mother told me Ben had lost a lot of weight? Yes. No, it's just that Pam lost a lot of weight. All right. Uh, I don't know if the answer from the platform that allows us or not, guys, but yes, you can say this without, that's, that's optional, right? So you can say, right, my mother told me Pam ha has, had lost a lot of weight, right? So yes, guys, it is possible to do this without using the relative pronoun, okay? Um, oh, I think I have to choose the other <laughs> answer, so... <laughs> All right, hold on. I, I don't know. That just that was just random, guys. Okay, but here, guys. Okay, so if you, I, I just wanted to mention, guys. Okay, if you do choose, Pam had lost. You know, my mother told me Pam had lost a lot of weight. It is correct. Okay, the platform doesn't take in, doesn't take taking the answer like so, just because you know it's, it's, it's um, it's default, in a different way. Okay, however, guys. It is correct to say that way. My mother told me that Pam had lost a lot of weight. So what's wrong here? What, what do we have? It's wrong just Pam, Pam lost a lot of weight. Pam lost, a, Pam a, lost, a, lost, lost Pam. a lot of weight. Oh, it's okay. Okay. All right, let me see if it accepts it like this, okay? All right, yeah, see? Yeah. So both answers are correct here. Very good, guys. All right. Now let's talk about completing the sentences, okay? As soon as I got, all right, let's actually read, guys, okay? Uh, Gio, all right, let's read it and let's answer it. Uh, that says in which one? Uh, Number D. one. Yes. Yeah, right there. Yeah. As soon as I got to class, my teacher gave gave us a pop quiz. Gave, right, very good. Okay, so simple pass. Uh, number two, uh, Jordana, no, uh, yeah, Jordana. Okay, I got a dog last year. Up until then, I have, I never I had. had any pets. Okay, I never had. Okay, very good. Okay, I never had. Very good. Michelle, number three. Um, it's when. Number number three. Salmon sue. Salmon sue. When. Salmon, salmon sue. Got married. Yes, read the when? sentence. Yeah. Oh, you, you're saying they went. Yeah, okay, yeah. guys, guys, the you have to mention when. you have to mention the final consonant, right? If you say when, when is this, guys? When? 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 Okay, that's when. All right. When. Went. Went. Okay, they when. went. Okay, they went on a trip, right? Very good. Uh, number four. Um, Jaime. My Chinese class went my out Chi for dim yeah, sum. My, 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 Chi my Chinese class went, went out for, for dim, dim sum before that I had never, never tasted. Had it. never oh. tasted? Okay, very good. All right, never number five. Before. All right, good job, good job, Jaime, good job. Uh, Cesar, number five. 
a lot about a car this summer. Until that time, she didn't know how to drive. Okay, she didn't know. Okay. I have oh, a question. In, Spanish, in, in, this, yeah. in this case, what is why it is not valid? Yeah, it's not possible to use the past perfect. Yeah. How uh, how 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 in, how in no? Yeah. The the reason know. the the reason why guys the reason why is because no is it a passive verb or not? Past perfect. Yes, it's a passive. passive. Passive okay. Verb. All right. Okay. So with some with some passive verbs, guys, we still can use past past perfect, you know. But here, that wouldn't make sense at all, right? Okay. Um, so yeah. that's the reason why you use this in simple past. Very good question, though. All right. Good notice. All right, Carla Eugenia. All right, let's do the last one. Found. found. The moment George canceled all his credit cards, he found his wallet. Okay, he found his wallet. Good job, guys. And I think that's that's pretty much it. Okay, everything else is you know multiple choice answers. Very good, guys. And applause for you. That's great. You finished the midterm. All right, guys. So I know that some of you connected not so early. All right. So uh, I'd like to ask you guys again: Have we all completed section one, two, and the midterm? yes hi everyone right, very good okay uh ricardo welcome back adriana alexander rosa ricardo um let's see cesar nelson carlos michelle did we did we complete all of them yes, yes. I, I, I completed the, the... my god guys that's oh, awesome i have never honestly guys i have never had a a a class was so responsible. This is great. All right, I really appreciate that, guys, okay? I really, really, really appreciate the guys, okay? All right, guys, so um, so let's, let's, let's jump into section number three, guys, okay? Let me just bring this up here. All right, so today, guys, we are gonna talk about uh, passive in present and present perfect and in the future, all right? So let me just bring out the presentation here. Hold on. All right, guys. All right, so anyways, all right. So let's talk about passive voice, guys, all right? When do we use, when, when do we usually use passive voice? What, what have you learned so far? When we want to emphasize the action. Okay, when you want to emphasize the, on the, very good. When you want to emphasize the, the object maybe of the sentence and not the subject, Yes. But it's not important to know the owner of the action. Okay, when it is okay, when it is not important to know the order of the action. Okay, all right. What else, guys? That's an important subject that that uh, uh, or, or do do the action. Okay. So so guys, when I say you know. Let me ask you this. If I say, I don't know, give me a name, guys. Give me a name. Give me, give me, give me a funny name. Um, I don't know. Let's let's talk about. Uh, Chepe. Chepe. All right. Chepe. Set Chepe Tonio. All right. Chepe Tono. All right. So we're gonna talk about Chepe Tono, right? So if I say Chepe Tono is a fantastic guy. Is this passive voice or is this an active voice? Active voice. Active. All right. This is an active voice, okay? Active. Active. 
So why do we consider this an active voice? Okay, think think about this. Okay, so who's who's the when when we talk about active versus passive voice, guys, we have to understand that this is like the protagonist of a movie. Okay, so here, who is the protagonist of this movie? Okay, so we have active voice here, right? So who, all right, in this sentence, okay, if we talk about this sentence right here. Who is the protagonist here? Is it Chepetono? Yeah. Is it a fantastic guy? Yep. All right. Chepetono, right? Very yeah. good. Now let's change that to. I want to change the, the font here. All right. All right. Let's change that to. Um... Hold on. Oh, that's why. All right, so let's say, guys, Chepetono, Chepetono, right, has a car, all right? Is this still active voice or is this passive voice? And why? This is still an active because you are yeah. talking about a specific uh, person in this case, I think. Very good, because... He's receiving the action. Because, very good. Okay, so right here, guys, okay, Chepetono, all right? All right, he is the protagonist, okay? Yeah. Now, what do I mean by this, guys? Okay, we mean, I mean, he's a protagonist of the sentence, okay? It doesn't mean that he's the protagonist in real life, right? Because what we focus on, guys, here is the subject of the sentence. And what is the subject of the sentence here? All right, very good, right? So the subject of the sentence here is Chepetonio. Now, remember, guys, the subject of the sentence, what's the difference between the subject and the, and the object of the sentence? And what is the object of the sentence here? The car. The the protagonist. Oh, okay. that's a car. Who did, who did the action? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so, so who, what is it? I'm sorry, what is the object of the sentence? Car, that's a car. Okay, uh, has a car on. or just the car? The car. The car. Okay, the car. very good, guys. Okay, so, so, and so, what is it? So, what is the, what is, what is the, the, the difference between um the subject and the object? The difference, guys. Go ahead. The subject, it's the one that performs the action, and the object, it's, it's the one that receives the action. The one that receives the action. Who said that? Jesus, good job. Michelle. Who said that? Michelle. Michelle, good job. Play hey, for post from Michelle, guys. All right, teacher Michelle, all right, explain us. Very good. No, all right. Uh, no, she's right, guys. Okay, right. One is the receiver of the action, the other one is the performer of the action, right? In this case, now talking about this, guys, when we when we're talking in active voice, okay, we focus on on the object then. Do we focus on is it are we focusing on whoever performs the action or are we focusing on the receiver of the action? That's who performs the action. Who performs. Okay, who all right. Performs. The performer of the action, right? Now, can we turn this sentence, guys, into a passive voice sentence? Yes. How will you, how will you do it? Like uh -huh, go ahead, go ahead, Jordana. A car was owned by Chepetonio. Chepetonio. Okay. Yeah. A car, very good, was owned by Chepetonio, okay. All right, a car was owned by Chepetonio. Now, guys, all right, this this was that's that's very good, okay. All right, so here now the roles the roles changes, right? Now, who am, who are we focusing? What are we focusing on here? Are we focusing on the car? Who is the protagonist here, guys? Is it Chepetonio now, or is it the car? Is it the car? Right, it is the car, guys. Okay, it is the car. All right. So now the object, guys. But here is the thing, okay. Now I know that the object became the subject of the sentence, but down here, right? Now let's talk about that specific car right here, okay? So a car. So now is this the object of the sentence now, or, or is it still the subject of the, or I mean, or is it still the, the object of the sentence? Subject or object? No, it's the subject. It's the subject. Okay, now, now, right? Yeah. No, is the subject. subject of the sentence, and right here, 
what became the object of, of the sentence? What is the object of the sentence now? Chepetonio. Okay, all right. So, Chepetonio, right? Chepetonio is the object of the sentence here. Now, why is Chepetonio the object of the sentence? Because he's receiving the action. All right. And what action is he receiving? <laughs> Too many questions. Right? The owner of a car. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, sim the simple question that you have to ask yourself your, your, yourselves here, guys, is, hey, who is the protagonist here? Is it the car or Chepetonio, right? Uh, if it is the car, guys, okay, we know we're talking. I mean, if it is the object of the sentence, we know that we're talking in passive voice, right? Now, what is one common thing? Okay, let's talk about what passive voice have, you know, what, what this whole thing, guys, okay? Let's talk about passive voice now, okay? So what is one thing that you will always find in common, guys, with passive voice sentences? The verb The yeah, verb Okay, there is, but I mean, in other sentences, you know, there is, uh, you, got, you got the subject and you got the object as well. Now here, specifically here, guys, okay, I'd like to know what something, okay, you, somebody's saying there the, the verb be, okay? Do we always use the verb be, guys, for passive voice, or are there any exceptions? So let's say the verb be, okay? And there's something else aside from, from the verb be. But what do you think, guys? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. The verb be, the verb be is one. Okay. Very good. But there is another thing. Past participle. Okay, all right, we got the past participle, okay, good job. I wanted to get to this point, guys, okay? However, all right, we still have something else in common. Okay, usually, guys, if you're not talking about a continuous tense, we're always going to find the verb be and the past participle in common, right? Yes? All right. Yes. Okay. Now, guys, what if we're talking about, um, what if we're talking about the passive of the present continuous? All right, so we know, guys, that this is, you know, what we have in common, right? Let's let's head down here, you know, what we, what, what passive voice, okay? PV is going to be passive, guys, okay? What PV has in common, okay? All right, so aside from, aside from uh, the verb be, guys, in the past participle, if we're talking about continuous tenses, we have something else, and that's something else would be the verb be, but the verb being what tense, guys? Oh, has or has been plus past participle, if we're talking about a continuous tense. Ing yes. form the verb. Ing. Yes, OK. Actually, guys, okay. All right, you can, has been, if you use, if you say has been, guys, okay, you will have to use the past participle form, okay? But what about this? Can I say this? Yes. Okay, has been, okay, now this is different, right? Yeah. And then here, we use a past participle form, okay? All right, now enough of the structure and, you know, the, the theory behind it. All right, let's, let's get down to business, right? Let's, Let's go ahead and uh, bring up some examples. All right, so far so good, guys? A little bit? Kind of. Kind of, okay, right. All right, don't worry, right? We're gonna see. I do want you to take, thank you for whoever took the picture right now. All right, I was gonna ask you to do so, okay? So, I mean, if you can take a picture, guys, share it with the group, that'll be, uh, that'll be great, okay? Now, let's talk about some examples, okay? So like, give me give me a sentence, guys. Give me give me a good sentence in present continuous. What would be a good sentence in present continuous? Remember present continuous? Mm -hmm. I am <laughs> doing my homework. Got it? All right, this is present continuous. Okay. Give me give me a good sentence, guys. Let's not talk about I, okay? I want you to talk about talk about maybe perhaps uh, i don't know your your um your favorite singer your favorite actor Cheyenne. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right 
So uh, give me a sentence, guys. Uh, Gio, go ahead. Um, uh, a lot of a lot of food are being offered in by the supermarket in the concert. <laughs> okay, right now we have we have a grammar mistake here, guys. What's a grammar mistake? Food is are being. Okay. It's not possible. All right. Also, for, first of all, first of all, guys. Okay, we remember we have to talk in present continuous, right? We're still not talking in passive voice. Okay. All right. And food is actually singular, right? A lot of food is. Ah, yeah. All right. Not yeah. are. All right. So that's yeah, that. Yeah. All right. But let's change that. Okay. Let's change that because I want you. Give me. Give me a sentence in active voice. Okay. Active voice and present continuous. They are good. offering a lot of food at the supermarket. Very good, okay. They're, all right, I don't like that. Very good, right? <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> a lot of food in the <laughs> supermarket or at the supermarket? At, at the supermarket. At the supermarket. All right. The reason why, guys, is, is, is if you're in, actually inside, if you're at the place, if you're at a, at a specific place, the preposition that you must use is at, okay? If you're around the area, then you must use in, okay? In the um, section. Right? When you go to, when you go, it, you, you, when you talk about school, guys, if you say, I'm in school, it doesn't mean that you're at the place, all right? I mean, school, it means that you go to school every day, but it doesn't mean that you're at the place. If you're at the place, then you say, I'm at school, got it? So that's a big difference. If you're in the real place, in the actual place, guys, right? That's where the preposition at comes into place, okay? Just FYI for your information. All right, anyways, okay, let's go back to talking about Cheyenne, all right? Your favorite topic. Now, Cheyenne is offering a lot of food in the supermarket, okay? Is this, um, is this present continuous? Yes. yes. All right. All right, guys, so let's, let's do something fun, okay? I'll let you have some fun first. Uh, do me a favor, send me whatever, whatever, even if you're incorrect, guys, I want you to send me in the chat, guys, this sentence, okay, in passive voice, all right? Try it, try it, just try it, okay? And then we're going to go over the answers, all right? So let me see what you got. Meanwhile, I'm going to be asking each of you, all right? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, I'm going to start with whoever I see at the bottom. Uh, Adriana, hello Adriana. Let's let's try to transform this into passive voice and see what we come up with, okay? Okay. Uh, in in the chat or here? Um, it, well, here. I, I, right now, I'm gonna ask everyone while while everybody else is doing it in the chat, okay? Okay. okay, okay. All right. So go ahead. A lot of food is offering at the supermarket by Cheyenne. So a lot of food is offering like this at the supermarket? At the supermarket by Cheyenne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So like this, a lot of food is, is offering at the supermarket by Cheyenne. It's being offered. <laughs> all right. I, I mean, it's okay. All right. It's okay to make mistakes right now, guys, because I haven't explained okay. this part, okay? All right, but uh, thank you very much, okay? Good job, Adriana. Um, Alexander, all right, let's let's have yours, Alexander. Give me another one, please. Oh, you sound very far away from the microphone, sir. All right, all right, no worries, no worries, Alexander. All right, I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry uh rosa all right let's let's uh give me another one what do you think okay so you think it's a lot of food is offering by cheyenne at the supermarket okay all right it's okay guys it's okay to make mistakes okay very good thank you very much rosa uh ricardo all right let's try it ricardo Okay, a lot of food is being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. Very good. Offered. Repeat. Offered. 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 Very good. By Cheyenne at the supermarket. Supermarket. 
Okay, very good. Supermarket. All right, very good. Um, Jordana. <laughs> what do you have, Jordana? Uh, based on the previous um, explanation, I put a lot of food has been offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. Okay. Has been with. Okay, mm. has been like this? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Offered, offered by Cheyenne. By the supermarket. Uh, the supermarket. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, right. Good job. Hey, good job, guys. All right. Very good. So I'm gonna explain to you, I'm I'm gonna explain this to you right now, guys. Okay. okay. All right. Um. So first off, guys, uh, let me check you on. Let me check your your answers right here. Uh, Caesar, a lot of food is being offered. Is being offering at the supermarket by Cheyenne. All right. A lot of food is being offered at the supermarket. Good job, Michelle. Well done, Ricardo. A lot of food is being offered at at, at supermarket. Uh, you forgot the, the article that there, but the rest of the structure is good. Carlos, a lot of food is being, all right, being just with one e <laughs> offered yes. by Cheyenne yeah. at the supermarket, but everything else was perfect. Um, Rosa, a lot of food is offering by Cheyenne at the supermarket. Okay, we're gonna correct that. A lot of food is being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. That's good, Jordana. Is being well actually no I, but I'll explain why. <laughs> All right, you close enough, close enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nelson, a lot of food is a lot of food at the supermarket has offered by Cheyenne. We're gonna correct that too. A lot of food is offering in the supermarket in supermarket by Cheyenne. We're gonna correct that. Veronica, books are borrowed all the time. Okay. All right, very good. Um, Carla, the food is being offering at the supermarket to Cheyenne. We're going to create that English is speaking in many countries. Okay, very good. Uh, Jaime, a lot of food has been has being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. Okay. All right, guys. Good job, guys. Good examples, guys. Okay. Very good. So let's go. Let's correct that. Okay. All right. So let's work on this together. Let me raise this. Very good, guys. So here, guys. Okay. First off, all right. Everything when we talk about active voice, everything follows the same rule. All right. So let's go down. Let's let's go back to talking about passive voice again, right? Now, remember guys, here in active voice, the, the, the protagonist is Cheyenne, right? We're focusing on Cheyenne is, is offering a lot of food at the supermarket, okay? So here, what is the subject, guys? The subject of this sentence, all right? All right, we know that the subject of this sentence is Cheyenne, right? All right. Now, what is the object of the sentence? A lot, a lot of food. food. A lot of food. A lot of food. Okay, a lot of food. Very good. I, I really love how how you don't uh, how you didn't choose food as the object of the sentence, right? A lot of food. Okay, all right. That works, guys, as the object of the sentence because that whole phrase actually works um, as a noun itself. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Notice something here, guys. We have the verb be here, okay? I want you to notice, guys, right, that we have the verb be here, right? Please take note of that. And we also have, all right, let me move it, slide it over here. All right, and we also have, guys, what is this? What is offering? Present continues. Okay, right, we have the verb. The verb in present participle, gerund, or you can say verb in ing, okay? I like to call it verb in ing, all right? So this is what we got so far, okay? The subject, the verb be, the verb in ing, and the object of the sentence, all right? Okay. And then after this, guys, we have the complement, right? I don't care about the complement right. so much, right? But, um, but we do have it there, all right? Now, this is the structure, guys, and this is what we're going to play with, all right? So we're going we're gonna to move it around a little bit when we talk about passive voice okay the first thing is that when we talk about passive voice we focus on the object the object we yeah. focus on yeah. the object so the object becomes yeah. the first the part subject. of the okay very good okay so we're gonna move all right all right let me give you some colors here all right so we're gonna move the subject guys yeah. over here right and i'm sorry the object right so the object the object will be moved over here and that's a lot of food okay yeah. so I like that the fact that you understood this part, that the object becomes the subject of the sentence, right? 
Very good. Okay. okay. Now, what else do we do, guys? A lot of food. Burping. Now, here's here's the trick. Okay. Burping in the past. Okay. okay. In the past, right. All right. So you have you have a couple of options here. Okay. But what I want you to notice here is that we have the verb be. Okay. All right. We have the verb be, but we do not. We're not gonna use it here in the past participle form. All right. We're gonna use it here. What do you think, in the present or perhaps in the past, or can we use it in both? In the present. In the present. Um, I see it's in the present now. Present. All right, all right. You can use it in the present, right? So here, guys, you can say is, okay? Yeah. A lot of food is, all right? And then the verb be changes to the ing form, I mean, right? Yeah. Is being, yeah. being, very good, okay? So this part right here, okay, let me give it another color. All right, let's let's go with. Oops, no, that's not it. Well, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we have a lot of food, and then. All right, a lot of food is being okay. So this is the second part, right? See. Now. Remember guys, there's something that we always have in common in passive voice, which is the verb in what form? Past participle. All right, the verb in past participle form, right? So that's what we're gonna do now, okay? A lot of food is being, what is the past participle of the verb offer? Offer. 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 Okay, very good, okay. All right, now here, guys, this is up to you, okay? If you want to mention, you know, who is offering this, it's up to you, okay? But the basic structure, guys, the structure goes like this, right? If you want to mention who was the actor, you know, who was the subject of the sentence, all right, let's use the preposition, guys. What preposition do we use? By. by. All right, by. we use the preposition by. by, all right? I'm sorry, by, like this. <laughs> mm. All right, so we use the preposition by, okay? And then remember the subject becomes the object of the sentence. And well, who was the subject of the sentence before? Chayan. All right, Chayan. Okay. All right. I know you love Chayan, guys. Very good. All right. So a lot of food is being offered by mm -hmm. Chayan. And now here, guys, this is optional. I really don't care about the, the compliment, but he, but you know it's worth mentioning it, right? Now here, guys, this the, the compliment doesn't really change. Okay. So what we're gonna do is that. I don't have many, I don't have any other nice colors here. So I'm going to go with whatever. I'm going to go with a darker blue. Okay. Anyways, so a lot of food is being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. Super okay. And here you go, guys. All right. So now if you want to, if you want to structure it up a little bit more, then you can say a lot of food becomes the, all right. Then you have a lot of food. This is the subject, okay? This is the subject of the sentence, okay? And then here, what do we have here? We still got, right, the verb be. Okay, you have the verb be. All right, I'm just gonna, this is the verb be, okay? The verb be. And then we have what? Nine. Okay, you have now. I, I want you. I want you to notice, guys, that this is gonna go together. Okay, these two verbs right here, they're married. Okay, all right. Unlike you and and me, guys, they're married. Okay, I'm kidding, guys. I know that you're married. Okay, very good. All right. So, uh, so yes, guys. Okay, these these two will go together. Okay. All right. So let's call this, you know, the marriage. Okay. No, guys, okay. All right. Uh, the verb be, guys, okay. Be plus. Do we all do we always use being, guys? Do we always have to use being, or can we use a different verb? What do you think? Um, actually, use it always. All right. We mm -hmm. always do this one, right? So we're gonna we're gonna yeah. put it down here, okay? Now, oh. what comes next, guys? Yeah. What is offered? Past participle. Okay. Uh, this will become the past participle. participle okay. All right or the participle verb, whatever you want to call it. All right. Now, then we have, this is optional guys, okay, but just, just FYI, right? You can use it, okay? Preposition, 
I'm just going to call it by guys. Okay. You know that you have to use it. Okay. All right. Now here, if you do want to mention this, right. Whatever is at the top guys, that's something that it's actually optional. All right. <clears throat> but for, for, for the sake of having great scores, you know, during the assessment, I'd like you to, to use it. Uh, so here guys, we have, now, is this the, the subject of the sentence? I mean, the object of the sentence? The object. object. Okay, all right. But this is, remember guys, this is optional. And then you have the complement here, okay? So this is guys how this is structured, okay? All right. Okay, now, does it make sense, guys? Do we understand now? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, but I have the question if... Um, why or is it possible to change uh, is for was or just because it was active voice and present continuous then go as passive voice in still in present continuous? Okay, to answer that question, that, that actually depends. And it depends on, well, if you're going to transform just for the sake of grammar, you know, this should be in present, okay? However, if it, if you know, if Chayanne is offering, the thing guys is that when we talk about present continuous, present continuous tells us that we, we use it for, you know, we use it to talk about actions that are happening at the okay. moment, right? Mm -hmm. So if you said a lot of food was being offered by Chayanne at the supermarket, is that, is that something that is happening right now or something that already happened? Start grammatically, guys, grammatically, guys, it makes sense. Okay, you can't say, and that's absolutely possible, right? You can say a lot of food was being offered by Jan at the supermarket. And probably that was yesterday, probably that was minutes ago, or probably that was moments ago, you know? However, all right, if we're talking about present, um, present continuous, guys, keep it in the same tense because it's an action okay. that is still happening right now, right? So now if I say a lot of food is being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket, does that mean that, that Cheyenne is still offering this food? Yes. All right. It means that he's still offering this food, right? Very good. Okay. Very nice question, Jordana. Um, that makes a lot of sense. All right. Very good, guys. Do Any other question? All right. I like questions, maybe, guys. Maybe uh, at this, uh, in this situation all, all the time, when you have a, a, a present continue in this as a active boy as a present continue, you use the, the, the same verb in, 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 in present all the time or depend? You're going to use it in present. If the active voice was in present, guys, you're going to use it in the present, right? Because it's a continuous form, right? But let's take a look at another example, okay? Now, did you, did you but, take a but, screenshot? Uh, what, 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 what happened in this, this time was the Chayanne was, was, a, no, no, it's not correct. It was offering, no, it's too. It's correct, was offering? No, not in this situation. You can use it, guys. Yes, you can use it if, it's a, if, if it is an action in the past. So this is what I want to say. This, this is, okay, let me, let me show you, all right? All right, so let's say, guys, that we're saying, Cheyenne, instead of is, guys, we're saying, you can use it, Jaime, if you're talking in, how do we call it, guys? Cheyenne was offering. That's Is that present That's continuous okay. or is that past continuous? That's All right. Past continuous. That is past continuous, guys, okay? So let's scratch this up here, okay? So let's say that we're not saying, you know, we're not saying Cheyenne is, but instead, you know, we're saying Cheyenne was, okay? Cheyenne was offering a lot of food at the supermarket. Is this something that's happening right now, or is this something that already happened? That what ha the, 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 that was happening in the past. Happened. All right, this is something that was already happening in the past, right? Very good. So here in this example, because it's already but, something. But that the, in this case, in this case, maybe it, it's a passive point too. Yes, no. it's still. A, oh. If you say Cheyenne, uh, a lot of food was being offered by Cheyenne at the supermarket. That's still passive voice. No, no, but in, in, in the first, in the first. No, the voice. first one, the first one is not. No, 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 no. All right, guys, what determines active voice is if you're focusing on the subject or the object of the sentence. Any tense, guys, any, any tense can be um, active voice as long as you focus on the subject of the sentence. Got it? Yep. So you could say, guys, I mean, you could say whatever, guys. You could say, I like you, you know. 
All right. And you can, uh, and this is this is active voice, right? Because we're focusing on the subject here, right? The, the, all right. Or I like, let's say I like your jacket. All right. Why? Active. So this is active voice, right? And then when we, when we turn it into passive voice, right? You can say now here, this is a very strange example, guys, because you're, you're not going to use like, okay? The jacket was <laughs> liked <laughs> by him, right? Whatever, someone. right? By someone, okay? All right. <laughs> but unless you're reading a very weird book, guys, you're not going to find that, okay? Usually, guys, we, we use it. You can say, you know, the jacket was liked by a lot of people, right? This is something that you would read in the newspapers, right? And this is actually, by the way, guys, passive voice is usually for, for writing, you know? People don't speak with passive voice when we're speaking, you know? We don't say, hey, a lot of cars, <laughs> a lot of cars have been waiting for you. Or, or, or uh, um, I don't know, guys, okay? We don't use it in, in real life scenarios, guys, when we're speaking face-to-face, -face, you know? We, don't use, we, I, we always use active voice. This is basically, you know, for, for writing, you know? Uh, for newspapers and such, right? Which is very important to know, by the way. Anyways, uh, so did that answer your question, uh, Jaime? Mm. Kind of? Kind of. All right. So, yeah, you can use other tenses, okay? You can use other tenses, and this will still be, this, this would still be uh, active voice, and this would still be passive voice, you know? Even if it was, wasn't, was here, okay? But right now, guys, okay, we're not going to go over all the tenses, guys, because that you will have to take another curse to go over, like, all those tenses. Right now, we're focusing on present continuous. Now, guys, before we leave, okay, do we have any question here? All right, do me a favor, guys. Do me a favor, okay? I want you to, to give me your own example now, right, in the chat room. I want you to give me your own example. Uh, actually, you know what? Let, let me give you the example in active voice, and then you're going to transform these examples into passive voice, okay? Let's see if that, let, let, let's check your knowledge now, okay? So uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, give me a subject, guys. You know what? Uh, let's say Juana. Uh, um, Juana was driving very fast. Actually, actually, I'm sorry. Is okay because we're focusing on present, right? Is, yeah. is driving her car too wildly? Okay. All right. This is what I'm gonna say. Okay. So Juana is driving her car too wildly. All right. So how would you how would you transform this into? into present into uh into the passive voice <laughs> follow the structure guys okay just follow the same this same. all right do, do it guys right? all right don't tell me don't tell me right now don't tell me right now <laughs> send it in the chat guys send it in the chat right send it in the chat right let's see right i just want to check your knowledge guys okay meanwhile i'm gonna ask you um so geo how will you transform this Her is being driven too widely by Juana. Okay, I couldn't hear you. Uh, could you please speak up a little bit? Uh, the car is being driven too widely by Juana. The car is being driving. Uh huh. It's being okay, driving. right? So the car is being driving. driving. So we have ing it's plus driving. ing. By drive. Driven. The car is being driven. Driven. Driven, driven guys. Yeah, okay, driven. that is the past participle. Don't use the past, guys. Use the past driven. participle, right? Driven. The car is being driven. Too widely. Too widely. Yeah. Too All right, widely. you can say that by Juana. Juana. By Juana. Juana La Cubana, right? All right, very good, guys. Okay, so the car is being driven too widely by Juana La Cubana. All right, so let's take a look at your answers. Uh, let's see. The car was being. The car is being driven too widely or, by Juana La Cubana. Was. Is. 
is because it's present continuous. It's, so it's, we'll keep it's it currently it happening, continuous. guys. All right. When we say is, guys, if I say I am working right now, is that the past or is that the present? That is that. Guys, if I say I am working right now, is that the past or is that the present? It's a present. It's, it's a present, present, right? Continuous. It's something that I'm doing right now, right? Present continuous. Well, yeah, it's a present. Yeah, it's a, an action that's happening right now. So therefore, it's a present <laughs> continuous, right? Very good. Um, all right. So let me check on your answers. Uh, 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 Jaime, hold on. Veronica, right? The car is being driven too widely by her. Okay, good job, all right? I like you're using a preposition instead of, of the, uh, I'm sorry, you're using, um, you're using a pronoun instead of a noun, right? Very good. Uh, a car is being driven. Okay, now, the mistake that you made here, Carlos, is not the structure. The, the structure is great. It's just that you need to learn the past participle verbs, okay? Drive it doesn't yes, exist, all right? It's driven, all right? Very good. Uh, Michelle said, but other than that, the structure was great. Uh, Michelle, her car is being driven too widely. Very good. The car too widely was being driven. Drive it. Okay, that, that, you will need to change that, um, Nelson. Remember, you started well with the car. And this is, I'm going to put it here, guys, just so we can analyze this and uh, we can correct it all together. Okay. So if I say, guys, well, if I if I said uh, the car was the, the car too widely by being was being driven drive it by Juana, right? So, first of all, the car is correct. Okay, we're talking about we're focusing on the object of the sentence, right? Now, here, guys, what's what's the first thing? What follows the structure, Nelson? What comes after the object of the sentence? According, guys, to the to the structure that we saw before. Is right. Is yes, very it's good. The verb be, and verb then what else? What else comes? What what, what else comes? What else comes after this? Being right is being very good. Being. Yeah. And then we need the verb being driven. past participle, right? Driven. Okay. Driven. The car is being driven. Too widely. Too widely. Too widely. Too widely. All right. Too widely Too by Juana. All right. So there you go. Okay. So just just follow the structure, but. But answering your question, I'm sorry, is, okay, I forgot to use here, okay, the car, uh, well, you said was, okay, but no, it's it's actually in the present, okay, all right, the car is being driven too widely by Juan, right, but the mistake, okay, the biggest mistake was not was here, it was like the whole structure, okay, so focus on the example, guys, on the structure that we saw before, and you're gonna, you're, you're good to go, you know, um, then we have, uh, let's see, Ricardo, her car is, her car is being drive it. Okay, well, we already went through that. The car is being driven too widely by Juana. Very good, Nelson. The car is being driven too widely. Very good, okay. All right, good job, Nelson. Uh, Jaime, car is being driven by Juana too widely. Uh, Jaime, good job. Everything was good. You just forgot the, the article, the, okay? The car. Uh, and that's it, guys, okay? Good job, guys. Good job. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we're going to have some practice, like, you know, speaking practice related to this. But I think you got it now. All right. So from one to ten, guys, okay, from from before you started the class, guys, from the before, you know, the mistakes that you had up until now, guys, how do you feel with uh, the subject? I know that we still need more practice, but how do you feel now? Do, did we understand? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so all right. It is clear. Ruth? No, it's not clear. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. So just follow the structure, guys. Please do me a favor and send the images to the WhatsApp group if you can. So everybody can have visibility, you know, or just take a glimpse to them uh, of them. Okay. Very good. Other than that, guys, do we have any questions? Very good. No. All I'm right. Here. Guys, oh, well. this is such a responsible group. It's probably. I don't know if it is like regarding responsibility, guys. It's probably the best group that I've ever had. So thank you very much, guys. That's on you. Thank you. You guys are doing amazing um, and everything, guys. Okay. So if you need any help, guys, please let me know. Uh, Jordana, uh, just send me the screenshot, the section. Um, I yeah. will give you the answer. Okay. I, I got it. Oh, you thank got you. it right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Other than thank that, you. guys, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Peace out, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.
बाय बाय